Alright, I'm getting ready to do this bad boy, EGT Pyro, on a 2005 Duramax LLY. Uh, it goes with, into my Edge Evolution CS. And so, tools I got laid out. Drill, extra battery, one Alaskan free ride, free ride American Pale Ale with bottle opener. 8th inch drill bit, 2164 spit, a couple magnets, hammer at the punch, 1 8th MPT 27, and a flat tip screwdriver by Edge Evolution CS. There's the probe and jack and stand. And it's going to go back in here on this filthy truck of mine. Alright. I already have the hood popped. So, I'm gonna start getting it prepped, get it jacked up, get this tire. All right, getting a look inside here. I got that wheel well liner removed. Uh, that was not fun nor easy, and it was full of dirt. Um, Cause I live in interior Alaska uh, along a bunch of dirt roads. So, looking in here, uh, here's where it's gonna go in. It's the exhaust manifold. I'm going to tap it right here. And that's where we're going to go ahead and start putting this in. Uh, so I'm going to turn off the camera, get out of the way, take a swig of beer, and, and get to work in there. Okay, of see where I'm at right now. I keep it coated in WD-40. Put my light on there. I've got a 1 8 inch pilot hole drilled. All right, and the whole time keeping it lubed with WD-40, and I use this big magnet, and I'm keeping all the shavings off as I'm going. All right, so you can see, got some metal on there now. I'm going to go up to the 2164, uh, drill the next hole, and then I'll I'll start tapping it out. All right, you can see back there the 2164 hole is drilled. Uh, dried off around the hole. Uh, majority of metal shavings are gone. I'm going to go get the rest of them and uh, then I'll start tapping. Alright, so now I've drilled and I'm going through with my magnet. I'm making sure now I got all the shavings out. All around the hole. I've, I've done this about 10 times. So, keep on doing this. I make sure I get right around the bottom of the hole. I've also tapped it already. Uh, so the drill bits I use initially uh, high speed steel bits first one was a 1 8 inch for the pilot hole and then I went to the 21 64 alright after I did got that hole through the tap you use is a 1 8 inch 27 NPT. This tap again. Make sure I get all the metal off the tap as well.
force the tap and just creates more shavings. see all all the shavings you get in your tap and that's not counting all of them they go down in the hole it's really quick in here oh yeah see how that it goes in there really nice I've got the whole tap really, really well now. All right, and I'm gonna continue cleaning out this hole, which is pretty boring. All right, I've got all the uh, little shavings out. So now we work on screwing this bad boy in. And there it is. It's a 13 millimeter is what they say on the packaging. They're wrong. It's not 13 millimeter. Sixteenths, but really, but this is a fourteen millimeter. There's my fourteen, and get that nice and snug because uh, your temperatures here are so high. What it's really going to do is it's going to fuse that into the exhaust manifold. What I'm going to do now, I'm ready to put the pyro in here, and I bet you this is a 13 millimeter. I'm going to come up, drop it from the top, and make sure I got everything clear. Sure, it's running along that wiring loom. Right there. And you can see it's, it's stainless braided, so you can actually run it. And where the heck did I put this? So I found a little fault in edges and instructions there that say 13 millimeter. It's 
it's actually 14. Both of them are. Alright, so that's in tight. Looks pretty good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna zip strip it a couple times and I'm gonna close up this wheel well. Uh, put the tire back on and then I'm gonna start putting it together. Uh, routing routing the cable, make sure it's tied up and secure the whole way through. So I'll get you back. right up here back behind the fuel filter so what I kind of do is try to get it to run not where that piece of plastic is uh, I'm gonna run it right along underneath it here and find a way to clamp this off alright because the braided piece is going to get me across the engine That's that's what we really want. So the braided piece will get me across, and where this is going to feed, I can move this thing uh, right there behind the brake master cylinder. Is a boot that goes through the firewall into the cab. So that's where I'm going to take this in through, and uh, I'll make sure it's through before I start. Tying it all down so I make sure I got any slack picked up on, on either end. I wasn't doing such a hot job of getting it. Uh, there's a boot right down there. I wasn't doing such a hot job of getting it through that boot right there. So what I did is I ran it right along the edge of the body here. Right, right through here. I come along and open the door. I run the cable right down and I run it into that boot. Run it right up the side. And that's actually a cable going to my GPS. Right here. Right there I run the EGT. And I scuffed it. Oh, good. So they got Earl in my hands. And right back in the rear, my edge. I turned it on, and I have the option for EAS EGT. So I know it's hooked up correctly. I'm just going to finish tightening that that cable up in there. Make sure it stays up and out of the way. There's my other engine mod I've done. Put the LBZ uh, mouthpiece on it with the stock LLY airbox. My air temperature at the intake manifold is about three or four degrees above ambient. I don't need a cold air intake. Um, I don't think it's really gonna make me a difference. I think that mouthpiece makes all the difference in the world for me, so there we go. And hope this helps. It's a lot of fun.